Hi, I'm Ian Dennison. I'm an equipment specialist at GF Strong Rehab Centre in Vancouver, British Columbia in Canada. And I'm here today to talk to you about towing error and how to uh, identify it, measure it and correct it. So towing error is a situation that occurs when a wheelchair has camber, as you can see with this chair. Camber is where the tops of the wheels are closer together than the bottoms of the wheels. There's benefits and drawbacks to camber, but nonetheless you'll see camber a lot. So towing error occurs when that, uh, when the wheels are no longer parallel to each other. So if you imagine these wheels with camber, if they're not parallel to each other, that's called a toe-in situation. This is called a toe-out situation. And if your wheels are towed in by 1%, you increase the rolling resistance by 50%. So we, uh, we have to make sure that the uh, towing is correct. And uh, if you have a towing error of two degrees, you have a 150% increase in rolling resistance. So very important that um, you know how to correct any towing error. So the way we, the way we uh, measure for towing error is you have to figure out where the center of the wheel is. In this case, it's 12 inches from the floor. And then with a marker, I'm gonna measure 12 inches from the floor. Let's put a, pencil, a pen mark on the tire. Do the same thing on the other side. 12 inches from the floor. Mark that height. Then I'm going to measure from one side of the tire to the other. I'm measuring the inside of the tires. That's 19 and a half inches wide. From the inside of the tire to the inside of the tire at axle height is 19 and a half inches. Then I rotate the wheels around and the reason I rotate the wheels around rather than measure and mark at the back is that if there's a little bit of a um, distortion in the wheel trueness that could mess up my measure 12 inches 12 inches Measure this distance, and this is 19 and 3 eighths. Uh, that's pretty close to being perfect, but not quite. So I can make a very slight adjustment here, and uh, I'm going to show you how to make that adjustment in a moment. There are different ways to adjust towing error. Um, I'm going to show you first on a chair with an axle bar because this is the easiest to visualize what actually happens. So in this case, you have to find what it is that clamps the axle bar to the frame. And this is as simple as it could be. Make sure the Allen key is all the way in. Loosen it off. Okay, so I've loosened off the axle bar. Now, if I rotate that axle bar, you can see how the, I just hold the chair still, how the orientation of the wheels change. All right, so you see the camber uh, becoming towing error. So what I need to do is rotate that bar so that when this mark is 12 inches from the ground, And this mark, or the valve is 12 inches from the ground. My distance between the wheels is in this particular case 19 and uh, 7 sixteenths, which is ridiculously accurate, but uh, should I should do that. Okay, 19 and 7 sixteenths. I'm going to tighten everything up. I'm sorry if I'm showing you the top of my head instead of the bit that I'm working on. Okay. So we've got rid of the towing error. Now, 
That's not all you have to do. You also have to make sure that this part of the axle extension is the same as this distance. That's easier to do with the wheels off. Put the tape measure. And I got three quarters of an inch sticking out. And on this side I have an inch and a sixteenth. Um, so I need to move the axle uh, that way, a little under a quarter of an inch. Uh, to do that, it's the same adjustment as before, but I want to make sure that I don't change my towing. So what I can do with that, put a little mark on the axle there, level with a known fixed point. In this case, I'm using the uh, opening of the clamp so I don't rotate that bar. Same adjustment as I did before, the same bolt loosely anyway. And then I'm just going to move that bar, keeping my index lines level so that that distance is now the same on both sides. 7 eighths and an inch. Now, of course, this is assuming that symmetry is what you're after uh, and that you haven't made a, uh, a conscious effort, a conscious decision to have an asymmetric chair for uh, uh, reasons of asymmetry in the, uh, in the user. Okay, so now we have no towing. We have um, same separation of the wheels from the... Uh, from the seat, the only thing that could be left uh, to do now is to make sure that the wheels are pointing in the same direction as the chair is. So we know that they're parallel because there's no towing error, but I could be traveling in this direction as far as I'm sitting and my wheels be pointing over there. So what you have to do is measure from a fixed point on the frame to the inside of the tire. This distance is an inch and a quarter. Measure the same distance on the other side and that distance is an inch and a quarter. All right? So now we've established the chair has no towing error, that the axle is clamped on symmetrically, and the wheels are pointing in the same direction as the, uh, as the chair is going. So there you go, that's how you adjust towing error.